All right, this is another video I'm making in addition uh, to the gas tank project video I made. <clears throat> and the purpose for this video is to kind of highlight uh, another problem I ran into with this this tank that I kind of refurbished and you know mounted up to use for a fuel tank on my motorized bike. So what the problem I was having was was with the cap itself and you know I put this on there but I'll explain that in a little bit but the problem I was having was uh, there was a tiny vent hole in the cap of this you know in this lid and the problem with that was when I was riding it was coming out of that hole and leaking down the tank and it was coming out pretty good I mean I was losing a good little amount of fuel out of there and uh, not only was it coming out of the vent but it was coming from uh, you know in between the cap and the tank on that you know on the interior coming down you know around the whole thing as well so my thinking was that okay I need to make a vent you know because it has to be vented but I need that venting to be fuel tight and immediately I thought of this this little tip right here and what this is for they use it on a lot of dirt bikes and you know smaller motorcycles and stuff and what it does is it allows air to come out but it doesn't allow fuel to come out so it's it's an airtight solution with but also you know you still have that venting action okay well that's that's step one in my process here uh, the next step was I, you know, I had to figure out how I'm gonna mount this this vent, you know, the tube into the cap and still get a fuel tight seal. I mean, you can't really just drill a hole in the cap, you know, and pressure fit the the hose into that right, just that plain hole. I mean, you might be able to get away with that, but I wanted something a little more secure and something I knew was not going to leak at all. So what I did was I took a hose barb brass fitting and I mounted it to the inside of the cap there and you know what that allowed me to do was have an airtight seal that I knew or a fuel tight seal I'm sorry that I knew would not leak one bit <clears throat> you know it's got 3 8 threads and a quarter inch hose barb on top for your quarter inch hose and you know all I had to do was drill a hole thread this in well I put the the steel washer and then a neoprene washer on the top you know and then I lined the interior with rubber and I'll tell you about that rubber in a minute you can see it's having a bad reaction to the gas but uh, I put the rubber on and then I had to use this cap because they didn't have a fine thread bolt that I could use and it's probably better that I use the cap anyways but uh, I used the cap and I drilled a small hole in that, you know, and I threaded it up and it's really tight and 100% fuel tight. So no leaking at all, you know, with the addition of you know, the vent cap that I got off eBay for like two bucks, I think, for two of them. And uh, yeah, so my only, my only step left, you know, is to replace that rubber and that's on the way right now as well. Uh, what I'm going to replace it with is Viton Floralastomer. It's a, a gasket material, a rubber gasket material that can hold up to the gas because, I mean, you can see the reaction it's having. So this stuff is not meant for corrosive materials. But, yeah, I just wanted to kind of, you know, show that. You know, it was a problem I ran into with the vent hole leaking. And this is my solution for, you know, 100% leak-free, fuel-tight venting on a regular old lawnmower gas cap. And, you know, it works great. So, yep, just wanted to add that, and later.